Hi, I'm Chris Harvey from QA Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how to use Excel more efficiently. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can force the user to enter some sensible data using Excel's data validation tool. In this column of information, I'm recording the number of bedrooms against houses which I have sold. It doesn't make sense that a property will have less than one bedroom so I can ask Excel to reject any time a user tries to enter a, a number below 1. I'll do that in Excel 2007 and 2010 from a data ribbon. I have data validation here. If I click onto the graphic, it gives me the data validation box. You'll see at present, Excel is set to accept absolutely any value. And that's OK, but it does mean that the user can mistype, can misspell things. So I'm going to force Excel to think about what it accepts first of all. I'm going to say in here, it must be a whole number. And that number must be greater than zero. There's more options, which I'm going to bypass for now. I'll choose OK. And now if I try and enter a good value, Excel is quite happy. If I try and put in a ridiculous value, then Excel gives me a warning. That makes it much easier for you to accurately receive information from your colleagues without having to send it back to them and asking them to do it all over again. I hope that helps you. If you want more information on how QA Training can help you become more proficient in Excel, please click on one of the links below.